How to Code for Evaluation Management in CPT Coding Manual. This is the CPT Coding Manual that we use as a medical coder, and this is mostly for procedural coding, not diagnostic coding. So make sure you have the right book um, before you start coding from here. We do code for procedures and we do code for diagnosis. This book is only to code for procedures. Um, this review is only for office and other outpatient services. For the changes, recent changes that has happened in 2021, and I will go through with a few scenarios to show you how to code for this, um, um, this section um, and for office and other outpatient services with the new changes implemented. So let's start with the question. I have a scenario here that has to be coded from the ENM section. And remember, as I previously mentioned, that it is a procedure coding. Yes, it is a procedure coding, but this section, evaluation management, is not exactly a procedure. It is an e evaluation and management visit from the doctor. What do we mean by that? So if you are coding from evaluation management coding in your CPT coding manual, you're not really coding for a procedure. It is not a surgery. It is not radiology. It is not pathology. You're not doing a blood test. You're not doing an x-ray. You're not doing any kind of surgery uh, procedures here. You are coding for the patient's visit at a certain location with the doctor and the doctor does evaluation and management. That means he will speak to you. He will ask you what is wrong with you. You will tell the doctor what is wrong with you. He will do an examination on you, takes your history, plans a management plan to see how he will take care of you, what labs he wants to do, and how what kind of treatment he wants to give you. Along with that, he will create a proper documentation to be sent to the insurance company for proper reimbursement. This is exactly what ENM coding is. So coming back to the question. ENM coding, this scenario is ENM coding. Now that we see the information, we see patient, office, 40 minutes, history, exam, uh, low complexity, I am thinking ENM coding. How do I start? Now remember, they're, they're the changes that has happened here is only for office and outpatient visits. So what is the change? The change is that we only code for the time now. Okay, the only thing that we need from the documentation is um, the time limit and you can see that office visit starts with 992020304405 for the new patient and established patient starts with 992122132149925 so do uh, what do i need from this information to code for a new patient in the office now remember the office is only asking for the time. Do I need the detailed history, detailed exam, MDM of low complexity? Let's see, I'm not sure. If you go to page 18 of your CPT coding manual, you will see the new patient and you will see the code 99202 and you will also see the code 99203. What am, what am I trying to show you? So if you read through this, now this is a new patient that I need that, why? Because this is a keyword for me, new patient, new patient. Okay, so do I need 99202, 99203, four or five? I'm going to read through it. And you can see that it says, requires a medically appropriate history or examination and straightforward medical decision-making along with 15 to 29 minutes. What do I see here? I see 40 minutes. I see detailed history, detailed exam, MDM of low complexity. Do I? The only thing they're asking me for is appropriate history and exam and low complexity. So I have to come back and check that. Is it low complexity? No, it is straightforward, right? So I will jump on to the next code and that says low level of medical decision making along with 30 to 44 minutes. All right. So that matches my low complexity and that also matches my 40 minutes all right so what code am i going to select i'm going to select 99203 okay if you didn't understand that pause the video go back and review the details and keep the book in your hand because i do want you 
to write these tiny notes at the left area of your code. So you will remember like how I do it. I wrote down low and I wrote down the 30 to 44 minutes because this is what I want to focus on every time I see this. I don't want to read everything again and again. These are the only two things that is required for me to code with specificity. And remember, you have to match all these keywords. Okay, I have another scenario for another new change for established patient. And the scenario says, established patient presents to the physician's office, at which time the physician provides a comprehensive history and exam with the high complexity of MDM, which is medical decision making, and spends 15 minutes with the patient. Now remember, we need three keywords. We see three keywords, history, exam, and medical decision making. And these are called the three key components of evaluation management and we're not i'm not elaborating on that yet but these are of uh, these are the most important key elements which you have to use with the other codes after we finish using the office and other outpatient services so these are the keywords that are kept behind um, except that they have been changed only for the new patient and established patient for office visits so I am going to be looking for what now? I'm looking for established patient because this is how the book is organized and this is what I have to find first. So what am I gonna do? I will look for established patient on page 19 and I see established patient and I see code starting with 99211. 99211 is a code that does not give you as much information. It is usually used for uh, situations where the physician may or may not be required and directly seeing the patient. So I'm going to continue looking. Under that code, I will find 99212. And again, this is also on page 19. So keep your eyes on the book, not just follow the video. Make sure you're looking at the whole page and reviewing all the details as I am explaining, it, explaining them to you. You will also see some certain sign and symbols and you also see the code and ranges on top of the page, which is a huge help when you are looking for the code. So this code is giving me medically appropriate history and examination and straightforward medical decision making. Now remember, does it match my scenario? No, because my scenario says high complexity of MDM and I also need 50 minutes. This code here is giving me 10 to 19 minutes and it is straightforward. So it's really not the right code. So I continue looking. I see 99213, it says low level of medical decision making and it has 20 to 29 minutes only. All right, so I continue. I continue to 214 and I end up on 215 on page 20. And I'm also looking at the code ranges on the top, which is always giving me a certain other information that I like to know and keep as a coder searching for codes in my tabular section of evaluation management. So when I see 99215, I see high level of medical decision making. I see 40 to 40 to 54 minutes. Does that match? Yes, it is high complexity MDM. It is 50 minutes and I have 40 to 54 minutes. So this is the correct code matching exactly what I need. Remember, I don't need the comprehensive history and exam. It says medically appropriate. For that, what does that mean? It, me it means that high complexity of MDM means um, the patient was in, in severe distress. The patient was so severe that he might needed urgent emergency care. And so according to that, the history and exam could have been a more detailed and more ex ex uh, extensive. And that is what comprehensive history and examination stands for. So my final answer to this scenario would be 99215, according to what we found in the tabular section. Now, if you look at the star and the blue triangle at the bottom of the page on both pages on this in this page exactly, you will see that the star means telemedicine and the blue triangle means a new code. OK, so you're always paying attention to that. Now, in case if the time is extended, it is more than 54 minutes. Make sure you highlight this at the bottom of 99215. It says for services 55 minutes or longer used prolonged services code 99417. You can find this code and elaborate further on how to add more codes, which is 99417. If it is more than 54 minutes, that means you will still use 99215, 
But for any additional minutes, let's say if it is 60 minutes, for the next five, six minutes added to this code, you will use 99417 um, also. Let's quickly review the 99417 code. You can see this is on page 43, page 43, and you can see that it's giving you all the details of how to use it. It says for each 15 minutes of total time, list separately in addition to codes 99205 or 99215 because these are the last codes which will give you an extra time because every time you have more time um, you will go to the next code um, let's say the code was for um, 20 minutes if it's 20 minutes rather than 10 to 15 minutes you will move on to 99213 that's the code you will use so you have enough time here to use the same codes provided on that page but when it extends more than 54 minutes at the last code, you are going to end up using 99417 for each additional 15 minutes of total time. And it also says um, to use it only with 99205 code ranges and 99215 code ranges, not with any of the codes listed here. And it has to be at least or not anything less than 15 minutes. So following these guidelines are very important and the guidelines are posted here. And they are also posted in the beginning from page uh, uh, six, I think, the page six to, yes, from pages, from page five to 17 are all your um, code coding guidelines for ENM coding. So make sure you are reviewing these guidelines um, anytime you need to because they're not something that you will do once and forget about it. These are consequently, they're, they're supposed to be remembered and used constantly as often as you can to confirm your um, information. This is a quick review of the 99417 table on page 43. Um, use it as needed. It is here posted for you um, and it gives you the details of how time, how much time is given to you and how you are going to add the 99417 code um, for the minutes given to you. So how do we how do we recognize an ENM code? We always use the keywords. Remember, anytime you see a scenario, what keywords am I looking at? If you see a location of the patient's visit, if you see the key components, such as what we saw in our scenario, history, examination, medical decision making, these are the different criteria which has to be elaborated further um, and it's too much for this uh, uh, for this video for me to explain everything to you but it gives you the level of service what's a level of service a level of service is something when the doctor sees the patient if you have a slight runny nose and a headache okay you're level one if you have high blood pressure or having a heart attack or something like that that means it is level five this is how they measure that level based upon the history examination and medical decision making of the page of the doctor's documentation. Another key word is the time spent with the doctor. Along with that we have two other things that can modify your your answer to the code and that is concurrent care and transfer of care which is a, a, a doctor working with other doctors for the same patient and maybe transferring of one patient to another doctor, which is transfer of care. Counseling is when the patient sees the doctor only for counseling of how he is going through a certain care or treatment plan. As I mentioned earlier, please make sure you keep an eye on your coding guidelines from page 5 to 17 and understand the keywords. Use my two scenarios to understand the coding um, from the ENM section. I did not go through um, i will make more videos to show you how to code from the index and then come to the tabular list i only try to make sure that you understand what is enm coding and how to code from the very first part of the enm section office visits and for, for new patient and established patient i hope that helps and if anything if you need anything give me a give me a reply at the bottom and i will Definitely work on that to help you out. Have a great day, guys.